Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyla Gomez and today I want to talk about my lighting setup. Lighting directly affects the quality of the video. You know, when the lighting is bad, people just don't want to watch your videos. As simple as that. I recently upgraded my lighting. I went from just using a ring light and sometimes daylight to having like softbox lights from newer. I just want to walk you through how I set those up, where I put them, and how it changes the look of my video. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do a variety of content ranging from fashion hauls to day in the lives to girl talks to sit down videos where I walk you through what I do to produce my content. One of my most popular videos is how I film and edit my TikTok so be sure to check that out if you're interested but let's get into how I set up my lighting for my fashion videos. Today I'm filming a fashion overhaul and I'm also filming some fashion content for TikTok. So this is my lighting that I use for those things. So here you see I got my newer bag. This has my lights in it. And I'll just do a little unboxing. So I only really use one of them, so I'll give one out and show y'all. Comes with this diffuser, which really helps the light not be too harsh and create too many shadows. Stand, you can adjust it, make it however you need it. I like it to be above me. I need to put the stuff on so I'm gonna put it here for now. And this is like the actual soft box. So it's kind of like umbrella shaped and it opens up like a box. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to the stand. Here we have it. Now I keep my the actual light bulbs in a separate place. So I'm gonna go get those and I'll show you how, it's like super easy. I'll show you how I put it in. So the actual light bulb comes in this styrofoam for protection. And it's pretty big light bulb, like <laughs> it's longer than my head, but it provides the perfect amount of light. This is where the light bulb goes. And you just really, Push it in and twist it. And you hear the click and you're good. The final step is to put this diffuser on. Now as you see, it has like Velcro that lines up with like Velcro on each side. Very simple, very simple. You line the corners up with each other. And now our soft box is ready to go. So this is the area I like to film in. I have a mirror right here from Ikea. I'll link it below if you're interested, but it's really important for me to have like a mirror right behind my camera so I can like see what I look like, you know, poses. Like I have the viewfinder of course, but it's nothing like a mirror. Also for TikTok, it makes it so much easier because I film with my back camera. The quality is a thousand times better on the back camera. And I film with that, but it's like when you're filming with the back camera, how do you know what you look like? Boom, the mirror. There's also other ways you can do it. Like you can connect your phone to your laptop and use your laptop as a viewfinder. And I've tried that one time. I was shooting a Skims campaign and my room was not together I had just moved in so I was like let me try just using my laptop as a viewfinder it works but it's harder because your the viewfinders here and your cameras here so you're like kind of split whereas with the mirror right behind you can still be you can honestly create the illusion of still looking into the camera but you're really looking in the mirror let's get these lights set up Shit. this way <laughs> tighten it I like how adjustable everything is like you can really get it at the perfect height and perfect angle for what you need so here's the setup with the softbox light right here I would record <laughs> right here so the soft box is right here i would record right here cameras right here and 
Normally, I would have my ring light set up as well, but as you can see, we have this beautiful natural light coming in. So I probably wouldn't use a ring light right now, but I'm gonna put the camera in the position. I'd start my intro here. Honestly, with the sunshine coming in, I don't really need a soft box right now, but I'm gonna still show you how it looks once I turn it on. Without, with it. <laughs> natural light is honestly the best light um i i always say like if you have a great natural lighting source like just use that i got the softbox because i generally film during random hours it just so happened that today in my schedule it's 3 p.m and i'm able to film but normally i'll film at like five and it's winter time so you know it gets dark at five so that's why the soft box helps. I'm gonna close the blinds and see if you can see more of how the soft box helps. This is no light. Got some natural light coming in, but I closed the blinds so it's like not as bright as it was, not as clear. And when I back up is when you really see how grainy it can get. Like I wanna show y'all some old clips I have from like just different lighting I've used in the past. So here's a clip where I used natural light and a ring light. Looks pretty clear, it looks good honestly. I'm pleased with this kind of quality. But then look at this where I'm just using my ring light. It's at night where I'm filming. I hate this video <laughs> so much. I think it looks so dingy and it just doesn't look good. Like I just don't like it. I still posted it because Imperfect action is still good. I'm just not pleased with the quality of that. Then fast forward to I'm in a new room. Here's just natural lighting and a ring light in this room. It's okay. It's very okay, but this is a nice camera. I should be able to get better, crisper, more juicy images. So here is my most recent vlog using this lighting setup very pleased with this this is like exactly what i was going for just a creamy rich texture i love the like back key light i have with the pink i feel like it really adds more of me to my space that's just been my lighting journey but i'm gonna go ahead and show you how this setup because i'm i'm literally about to film some content right now so i'm gonna show you how this setup works okay Here's nothing, here's no light. Also, it's important to acknowledge that my camera settings weren't the best in those other clips that I showed because now I'm on like auto, so the camera's doing all the work to fill in the lights. And even when it's like dark, it still looks pretty decent because the camera knows what features to use to brighten it up better than I did, as we can see, because this doesn't even look as bad as those other clips. But here's with the softbox. Still, it's a nice image, but this side is definitely more lit, creating some shadows. Of course, I could just put it like here and that might eliminate it, but we have another light, so. Look how bright that is. That's just so bright and I really like this. And the big test is like if I'm still well lit when I'm like backed up. I move both of the lights closer and I move the camera more center just to show how I would really film a fashion haul. And see, you get to see the whole outfit, you get all of me in the frame. So this is my lighting setup for fashion videos. And I'm very pleased with this. <laughs> it's very sharp, very juicy. I love this lighting. So I just wanna point out that I love this lighting setup. I think it looks so good, especially like this frame, like <laughs> so good. But nothing beats natural lighting. So if you're just starting off, don't think you need to go buy all these lights. If you have a decent window and you're in the direct sunlight, like you can make it work. So don't feel like you need to invest right away. And don't let lighting like stop you from creating. You see those bad lighting videos that I still posted? You can still post your bad videos. Like it's okay. It's just once you're at the point where you've posted enough bad videos and you're ready to level up, then invest. And you can then invest. But don't let it stop you. I think so many times with content creators and anything in life, you wait until it's absolutely perfect to start, but then you're missing out on all this learning and growth. Had I not filmed those bad lighting videos, I wouldn't have figured out that it was lighting that was wrong. You know, it takes making the mistakes to learn from the mistakes. If you never make the mistakes, then 
great you're perfect you just got it but you didn't really learn anything you just do it your way and your way happens to be perfect but that's just not how life goes so all I'm trying to say is don't let lighting stop you from making the videos that you want to make just when you're ready and when you can invest in better lighting do it and I recommend these I have a newer ring light as well as a newer softbox both will be linked below check them out also i just think natural light is the best light so like look at this it's amazing it's great we love it but i'm gonna open my blinds up i think this is 10 times better honestly objectively i think this like natural sunny light looks better than the studio lighting like some things is just better when it's natural I hope you enjoyed watching how I set up my lighting for my filming. Feel free to drop any questions if you have any questions for me. I think I want to do an updated how I film and edit my TikTok video because people seem to really like that past one. And I've honestly changed a lot about how I edit, including the software I use. So I think it's time for me to update that video. So stay tuned for that. I also do fashion content, beauty, lifestyle, girl talk. So if you like this kind of stuff and this is your jam, please be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. Got something real, not bad.